In this video, we will be covering how to add individual users to 3CX and configure handsets. First, log into the 3CX management console. Once in the management console, click on users in the left menu. At the top of the users list, click add. Complete as much of the information as you require as to what you would like for the internal extension number to be, first name, surname, email address, mobile number, and how you would like for their outbound caller ID to be displayed. Once this has been completed, click on the phone provisioning tab above user information. In this section, you can begin to set up the handset that the user will be using. Under phone provisioning, click add. Choose the handset model from the drop-down menu and then enter the handset's MAC address. If you are unsure of the model and MAC address information, this can usually be found on a sticker on the underside of the handset. Once this has been entered, click OK. You'll then need to select the provisioning method. If you are provisioning a handset on the same network that you are on, you will choose Local LAN. If you are provisioning a handset at a remote location, you may choose 3CX SBC or Direct SIP, depending on your configuration. Your handset MAC address should also be listed here. Under the Options section of Phone Provisioning, you will be able to alter settings such as Clock and Date Format, among other options. In this section, it is recommended to change the transfer method to attended slash consultive transfer so that when calls are transferred, the user will speak with the transfer user before a transfer would take place. Blind transfer will directly transfer calls without consulting the transfer user. You should also then change LDDP or link layer discovery protocol to enable once this has been done, you should select and copy the provisioning link under the IP phone selection and then click OK at the top of the page to save the information and configuration. Once this has been completed, open a new web browsing tab or window and navigate to the IP address of the phone you wish to configure. This will usually be found on the handset you are provisioning. For Fanville handsets, the default login admin credentials for those handsets are admin and admin. Once you have logged into the handset, at the top of the screen, go to Auto Provision. Click on the Static Provisioning Server option and under Server Address, paste the provisioning link that was copied from the 3CX Management Console. Next, change Protocol Type to HTTP to match the start of the provisioning link that you have pasted. For example, if the provisioning link were to start with HTTPS or FTP, you must ensure that the protocol type is HTTPS or FTP respectively. Once this is completed, click Update Mode to update after reboot. Once these options have been changed, click Apply at the bottom of the page. When this has been completed, click on the Auto Provision Now option and then click on the button of the same name. You will be presented with a warning box to ask you to confirm that you would like to Auto Provision Now. Click OK. This will then provision the handset. This can take anything up to five minutes to complete. Once this has been completed, the handset will now be ready for use.